What's up everybody, welcome to Clown World News. We have a pretty big story with something that happens silently. So we have the CDC quietly. This is the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I'll provide this link in the description. You can see this for yourself. So here's the provisional death counts for coronavirus disease 2019, aka COVID-19. And if you look through this, you'll find this little table right here, this little right here, comorbidities. And that means that something else that contributed to the death. Now, check this out. Table 3 shows the types of health conditions and contributing causes mentioned in conjunction with deaths involving coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, right here. For 6% of the deaths, COVID-19 was the only cause mentioned. 6%. COVID-19 was the only cause mentioned. For deaths with conditions or causes in addition to COVID-19, on average there were 2.6 additional conditions or causes per death. The number of deaths with each condition or cause is shown for all deaths and by age group for data on comorbidities. We can click here and, and look at this, but right there, let me read it again. For 6% of the deaths, COVID-19 was the only cause mentioned. For 6% of the deaths. So let's look at America's U.S. COVID deaths. America. 5.9 million cases. 180,000, 182,000 deaths. So I'm bad at math, but I think I remember how to do this. Take 182,000. Multiply that by 0 0.06, because that should be 6%. Correct me if I'm wrong. I am bad at math. And that means that we have only had in the United States listed 10,920 deaths directly attributed to COVID-19. 10,000. What? Does anybody else think this is fucking crazy? That the CDC came out and said this and that it's not huge news. This is what people have been saying for the longest time since all this started. And you could even probably contest those numbers. Because you have to then consider like the false positives and the whatnot and the... There's just so much bullshit surrounding COVID. But this is like an official channel. The CDC of all places. For 6% of the deaths, COVID-19 was the only cause mentioned. What? Holy shit. <laughs> Again, let's look at the calculator. Numbers don't lie, but uh, health officials do. So <laughs> we got to consider the government health officials. Now, surely by now, it's been what, five, six months, if not more, since the main wave of COVID-19 struck United States. Now, you may know somebody who had some severe complications because of it, and that is sad. That does suck. I personally have only seen, uh, in my personal walk of life, I've seen my entire friend group all test positive. None of them had any symptoms. We've traveled back and forth. I've, tra I've, I've had people travel from Canada to come visit to Texas, where it was supposedly a hot spot. No issue. None. <laughs> I've, I've been around at-risk people, my parents. No issues. None. My father has been flying every week since this started no issue so if it was as bad as the media says it was it says it is surely we would see a like we would feel it because they report on all these numbers and they make these numbers seem super scary like these numbers like look COVID-19 alert it's in red it has the symbol it's scary but this number is not even the number we should be reporting because this number is not it's it's like it's in the same way that you could you could blame it on systemic racism you know another vague term another vague thing that probably contributes in some factor but we should be looking at the actual direct causes of death from COVID-19 and if that number is just 10,000 odds are good most of those are from the elderly and I, you can click here if you guys want to do some investigative journalism on your own you can click here download that and it'll show you the age groups and I'm willing to bet that it's it's a lot of elderly or people with obesity etc other things 
But with that, is that another health condition? Do you think obesity or L, like at, like at risk age? Does that count? See that that's a problem with the COVID stats and the metrics. I, I use metrics like the the COVID metrics are all over the place. There's not uh, clear data on any of this stuff, so it makes it so impossible to understand. When COVID deaths are marked as probable, when they're combined with the probable and the confirmed cases of COVID, and then you lump those all into one number, that alone is nonsense. That's pseudoscience. That, that is the specific term. That is the exact definition of pseudoscience. But then we have an official channel coming out and finally taking the data and finding out that only 6%, only 10,000 people in the United States have died over six months from COVID-19 directly, that is an astronomical, astronomically small figure. That is 6% of, of this, just 6%. 100% of this would be 182,000 deaths. It's just 6% of that. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills over here. Now, will this video get shut down or censored by YouTube in some way. I know that there's some social media platforms that you're not allowed to even remotely question this. How dare you suggest that people use real science when trying to determine whether or not we should all completely shut down the economy and ruin our lives for something that the media and the Democrats really benefit from. They benefit from it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's a huge benefit to a lot of these people. A lot of these groups. So yeah, I mean, I don't really need to say much more. I'll link to this. You can look at this yourself. Uh, if, if I'm reading into this wrong, by all means, let me know in the comments. Uh, I, I kind of don't think I am, but maybe I am. I'm willing to be wrong. But this seems like so damning of information. And this was, I don't know when this actually itself got posted. Updated August 26th. So this was three days ago quietly updating this not a lot of glamour you know glitz and fame or spotlight put on this instead there is a, a bunch of spotlight put on other events going on which i mean maybe they deserved it but this is huge like can we can we stop the nonsense i've heard people say you're gonna have to wear a mask until 2030 until deep into next year at the very least well surely with this we can maybe come to our senses but again just because only six percent of the deaths are the direct cause, the only cause mentioned. That doesn't mean that COVID-19 on the official canon, that is COVID-19, that whole narrative, that doesn't mean that it, it isn't dangerous to the other people. It is still dangerous to other people because lots of people in America, unfortunately, are obese. Lots of people in America have other underlying health conditions. And for them, it does pose a risk. I, I've said it in the past, my, my theory, this is my logic, my suggestion, if you are at risk, you wear a mask. You And then everybody does the social distancing thing. But if you're at risk, why would you why would you expect to go out and then put your life at risk, your life on the line, hoping that the rest of the world is going to follow your lead and do exactly what they should do for you, for your best interest, when they don't know you. They don't know who you are. They don't know what your underlying health condition is. So if, if only the people who had the underlying health condition wore the masks, it would be much easier to give them the courtesy of the space, like avoid them, not, not like avoid them like, the, like they're lepers or something, but like give them a more wider berth, you know, let them, you know, look through the aisles of the store before you go through the aisle, you can go get some other stuff and come back. I, I'm, I for one, am happy with this social distancing thing. Six feet, people don't get near me. Like <laughs> the airport was a bitch back in the day. And I'm saying back in the day, like before COVID, that's how fucking crazy COVID is. It wasn't that long ago. But people were stepping over me. People were right up on me. It, it's all just a bunch of hoot nanny. Or is it a hoedown? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> so I'll link to this. You can check it out. Uh, it seems like this should be huge news. Seems like it should be. I, I don't know. Let me know if you're having any flack for trying to uh, share this information. Not necessarily my video, but just sharing this information in general. Because, I mean, here it is on a, on a government website. The CDC of all places. So, yeah. Uh, that wraps up this little news story. Uh, if you enjoy investigative journalism like this, you can check out the info. I do have a Patreon. You can show your support. 
as always, shout out to everybody else who has done so. It's incredible. It really does encourage me to keep my eyes peeled and to pay attention to all this. Because I, I, I like to think that I was like somewhat, you know, paying attention to a lot of this stuff in the past. But then COVID happened. I had all these plans in January. I was going to fly around the world. I was, I was going to be a special guest at all these different international tricking events, these martial arts events. I was going to Israel, Norway, you know, Scotland, all these places. And then all of a sudden, COVID happened. And so when COVID happened, it just threw such a wrench in my life that I was like, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to pay attention now. Now of all time, I'm going to actually pay attention. And I watched all the Trump press conferences. I watched them like a hawk, just waiting to see, like, is he going to say mandatory vaccines? Is, he, is that really going to happen? Are we really going to bring to that? And I'm still, I'm still looking like that. But that was like the spur for what caused me to kind of want to create this channel and to want to like pay attention as much as I can. So just again, to the people who do support me on Patreon, it's incredible. And it really does make me want to uh, be as active as I can in looking out for this nonsense. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. Call your mom and tell her the good news, I guess. And, and if you have had somebody or loved one or close one uh, unfortunately pass or deal with this in a bad way I, my heart does go out to you I am uh, genuinely sorry I do feel bad for that it is just a, it's a shitty situation in general whether or not it's a giant grand conspiracy and is created in the ID 2020 and all that I entertain those ideas but even regardless of those ideas just the fact that some people have had to deal with any illness like this is is awful it's not fun it's not cool and so yeah uh, stay vigilant let me know what you think if I did my math wrong if I'm not reading that chart correctly peace